In this video, we are going to plot another parabola. In this case, um, this is a downward opening non-basic parabola. We can see that our equation for our parabola is y equals negative 0.5x squared minus 20x plus 7. So the first thing we need to do is figure out what the vertex is. You can see that I've already done that. It's negative 20 comma 207. And what I did was then plotted that vertex, which is right there. And then I copied that vertex and pasted it 10 more times because I want to plot five points to the right of the vertex and five points to the left of the vertex. So we've got all of those um, vertices stacked on top of one another. I'm going to uncheck that label box. Okay, and then we're going to add one and subtract one from each of the x values. So I'm adding one, um, let's see, oops, I added one and subtracted one. I'm sorry, next I need to add two and subtract two. Then I add three and subtract three. Then I add four and subtract four. Then I add five and subtract five. And as you can see, that gives us a series of points that are on the same level as the vertex. All right, they're pretty points, nice and colored. Okay, now the, the next uh, step in plotting these points, this is was something that we did with basic parabolas quite a few videos ago, right? We, we add, I'm sorry, we square the number that we added to the x coordinate and then add the result to the y coordinate. So 1 squared is 1. So I'm going to add 1 and add 1. Actually, no, I'm not going to add 1. Um, because it's a downward opening parabola, I'm going to subtract 1. There we go. And subtract 1. And then we're going to square 2, which is 4. So I'm going to subtract 4 and subtract 4. Okay, I'm subtracting because it's a downward opening parabola. Then the next one is 3. We square that. 3 squared is 9, so we're going to subtract 9. Then the next one is 4, so we're going to square that. Get 16, so we're going to subtract 16. Then we uh, square 5, which is 25, so we subtract 25 and subtract 25. Now, what we notice is that all of those points are not on the parabola. Those points do form a parabola. The parabola that they form is a basic parabola, but that's not the one that we're looking for. Because as you recall, this is a non-basic parabola because the leading coefficient is negative 0.5. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply all of those numbers that we subtracted from the y-coordinate we're going to multiply them. In this case, we're going to multiply by the absolute value of the leading coefficient. So the absolute value of the leading coefficient is positive 0.5. So I'm going to do control C to copy that section I have uh, selected there. That's 0 0.5. And then we're going to multiply each of those uh, values that we subtracted from the y coordinate by 0 0.5. And watch what happens. So I'm going to do Shift-8 and then Control-V, and then do it again. Shift-8, Control-V, Shift-8, Control-V, Shift-8, Control-V. And we see that the points are actually lining up on the parabola. So Shift-8, Control-V, Shift-8, Control-V. Shift-8, Control-V, Shift-8, Control-V, two more, Shift-8, Control-V, and then Shift-8 and Control-V. Now that puts all of our points onto the parabola. Now that, that last part, 
multiplying by the leading coefficient. Now, it was true that the leading coefficient was negative 0.5. However, we already took into account that we have a downward opening parabola. We took that into account by subtracting the values that we subtracted from the y coordinate. Okay, so we already accounted for the fact that um, that this was a downward opening parabola. So when we multiply by the leading coefficient, um, we want to multiply by the absolute value of the leading coefficient, um, especially if we've already taken into account by subtracting those uh, y values, um, we multiply by the leading coefficient, uh, absolute value of the leading coefficient. Okay, so I hope that this is helpful to you. Hope that this makes this uh, clear. This is rather a simple way of doing these things. This way we get plotted points and um, we can label each of those plotted points, of course, by checking the label box on each of these points. And we can label the original vertex. Now, that looks kind of crowded up together. Let's zoom in a bit. And we can do that like this. And that's a little bit too much, so we're going to zoom back out just a bit. There we go. So there are all of our points and their labels. And we see that we've uh, labeled those points correctly on the parabola. So again, I hope you found this helpful.